Amen. Today, this morning, uh, we are going to focus on Palm Sunday reminds us that Jesus is King. Palm Sunday reminds us that Jesus is King. Is it Jesus came as a king riding on a donkey into Jerusalem? And our key verse is John chapter 12, verse 30. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. Blessed is the king of Israel. The Bible declares in John chapter 12 that people came out with palm branches. They took palm branches, they came out to meet Jesus and they were shouting Hosanna. Blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the king of Israel. They were receiving Jesus as king. They were hailing Jesus as king. And so the first thing this morning we see that Jesus is the triumphant king. Who triumphed over that? Jesus is the triumphant king. Who triumphs over that? And here we see people cut the palm branches and then they began to wave them. And then they laid the palm branches onto the path from where Jesus was passing by. And they laid it on the path so that Jesus and his donkey and the disciples and the whole procession was walking on the palm branches. They gave a very grand welcome, a great welcome to King Jesus, the triumphant king. They had laid out a carpet of palm branches. Isn't that amazing? They had laid out a carpet of palm branches. And upon that, Jesus rode on the donkey into the Jerusalem. What a great welcome! Grandeur, grand welcome. You know, today people welcome by spreading out that red carpet. But Jesus was given a grand welcome by spreading out a carpet of palm branches. This morning, holding up palm, palm branches, we praise the Lord, we worship the Lord, and we hail Jesus as a king, the king who ran on that. And we read in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 55. You see, Jesus was entering Jerusalem and he was going to triumph over that. And 1 Corinthians 15 55 says, O oh, death, where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? Amazing. Jesus accomplished victory over that on the cross. And that's why now Bible declares, Oh that where is your victory? Oh that where is your sting? Today as we look around, as we watch our TV, and we see many, 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 many people dying. But remember that people need to come to Jesus, who has won the victory over that. And He gives life Life abundant, He gives resurrection life and eternal life. And we know in the Bible, Jesus, even before this happened, He raised the doctor of Cyrus from death. He raised a young man from death, the young man from the city of Maine. The funeral procession was coming out. The man's body was in the coffin. But the mother of that young man was crying profusely. And Jesus now went out to her. And he said, Mother, don't cry. And he went and touched the coffin. And he said, Young man, get up. And the man who was dead got up. And Jesus gave him a lie back to his mom. Amazing. And even 
We read in John chapter 11. Just before today's passage, we read our passage from John chapter 12, verses 12 to 19, about the Palm Sunday. Just before this chapter, in chapter 11, Jesus had raised Lazarus. Lazarus was dead and buried in the tomb for four days. His sisters were crying. The people that had come to comfort them had been crying. And the smallest words of the Bible has been written over there. Jesus wept. Jesus wept. And then Jesus said, where have you kept him? Please take me to that place where you have kept him. And they took him to the tomb of Lazarus. And Jesus prayed and he praised God and he said, Father, this is for your glory. This is for your glory. And then he said, Lazarus, come out. And the one who was dead since four days came out. And all that crowd and all that people had seen. Jesus had won the victory over that. And the Lazarus was raised. Oh, that where is your victory? Oh, that where is your stream? Even on the third day, Jesus also himself rose again from the dead because he had defeated that. Secondly, Jesus is the king of peace. Jesus is the king of peace. Jesus chose to ride on a donkey. And it was in a direct fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecy. In Zechariah chapter 9 verse 9. In direct fulfillment of the Old Testament prophecy about Jesus going into Jerusalem on the Palm Sunday riding on a donkey, it was prophesied, predicted hundreds of years ago by the prophet Zechariah. And we read, Rejoice! Zechariah 9, 9, Rejoice! Greatly, O daughter of Zion! Sound aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem! Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation, and he is humble and mounted on a donkey on a cob, the foal of a donkey. Yes, rejoice! The Bible calls rejoice because Jesus is riding on a donkey. You see, in the in those olden days, when the kings used to come sitting on a horse. It meant war. The horse represented war. And so when he comes on a horse, it means his intentions are for war. But when a king comes riding on a donkey with a procession following after him, it's a procession, it's not an army. When he comes on a horse, the army is following him. When he comes on riding on a donkey, a procession of people is following him. He comes for the intentions of peace. My dear friends, Jesus came as the Prince of Peace, as Isaiah 9 6 declares that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. He came to establish peace between man and man and to establish peace between us and God. You see, to break down the barrier of sin that was erected by sin between us and God. Jesus came to destroy that barrier and to bring us peace with God. Isn't that amazing? Thirdly, Jesus is the Savior King. Jesus is the Savior King. When people shouted Hosanna, John 12, 13, John 12, 13 are key words. Hosanna, they shouted, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna means help us, O King. Help us, O King, save us, O King. 
You know, the crowd was crying out, Help us, O King. Save us, O King. How much more we need to shout, Hosanna in these days when people are being afflicted by coronavirus, people are losing their loved ones, people are in pain and suffering all over the world. The world needs to cry out. Each and every one of us need to cry out this morning. Help us, O King. Save us, O King. Hosanna, help us, O King. Save us, O King. People knew that Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead. And they knew that Jesus had lots of power, you see. He had, in John chapter 12, verse 9, people knew, Bible declares, that Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead. And he possesses a great power, lots of power. He possesses a great power, you see. Then the Bible declares that his power was so great that even when he spoke the word, his word released great power. Power greater than the Roman government and the Roman army. We read in John chapter 18 verse 6. In John 18 6, when Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. You see the soldiers of the Roman army had come to arrest him and they were asking where is the Jesus of Nazareth and he said I am he. His words had so much power. The Bible says those soldiers they began trembling and staggering and finally they fell to the ground with all their swords and spears and uh, weapons, they fell to the ground. My dear friends, people knew that Jesus has lots of power. And that's why they cried out to him, Hosanna! Help us, O King! Help us! Save us, O King! Save us! My dear friends, today you need to cry, Save me, O Jesus! Save your Jesus. Forgive me, O Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Save me. Cleanse me your blood. I give my life to Jesus this Palm Sunday. I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Savior King. The fourth thing is Jesus is the praying King. Fourth thing we see Jesus is the praying king. Jesus prays and weeps during this Palm Sunday procession. The Bible clearly declares in John, in Luke chapter 19, Luke 19, 41 and 42. You see, during this Palm Sunday procession, as he was coming to accomplish salvation for all people, that was his motive and that was his goal and with that goal in mind as he was in the procession sitting on a donkey and with the procession coming to a place where it was a hill, that's what Bible says it was a hill and as they climbed, the procession climbed on the hill before entering into Jerusalem because the Bible says Jerusalem is surrounded by mountains and Jerusalem itself is on a mountain and as the procession was moving further to enter Jerusalem they came to a place which was a hill and as he came onto the hill he can look down onto the city of Jerusalem and to the Jewish people living over there and here as I read Luke 19, 41, 42. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and he said, he prayed, you see. If you even, you had only known on this day what would bring you peace. But now it is hidden from your eyes. He prayed for their peace. 
He cried out for their peace. He wept for their peace. That all your spiritual blindness be removed. Many people are spiritually blind. They are not able to realize that Jesus is the only Savior of the whole world. And Jesus is their Savior too. They need to come to Jesus and accept salvation in Him. And Jesus is the praying King here in the Palm Sunday procession, weeping and crying for your salvation. Weeping and crying for your salvation. Have you given your heart to Jesus? Have you given your life to Jesus? It is very important that you allow that Palm Sunday procession King Jesus to enter your heart and bring you salvation. And lastly, finally Jesus is a warrior king. Jesus is a warrior king. Jesus wars against Satan, sin and death on our behalf. You see, men today seek for someone who can fight their battles, who can fight their wars. Very much so. People today seek for someone who can fight their battles and fight their wars. And that's why we have an established army where people who can fight and are trained to fight can fight for the people of our nation. Also, we see that many, many nations, smaller nations, they look to the United States. When they are in trouble, they call out to the President of the United States and to the Senate and the Congress and say, help us, help us. We cannot fight this battle alone. Please fight our battles for us. And that's what the United States does. They fight battles for the smaller nations. You know, for South Korea, USA is in charge to protect them. Even for Japan. Why today United States is in Afghanistan? To help that small nation to fight the battles. My United States was in Iraq to help fight the battles against ISIS. And you know, USA fought battle in the Gulf War for Kuwait when Kuwait was attacked, a very small nation. And so, United States goes and fights battles for smaller nations to help them so that the rogue nations can be disciplined and placed back into their positions. And my dear friends, Jesus came to fight our great battle with Satan, with sin and that on the cross. Jesus is our warrior king. Even if you come today to him and surrender your life to him and ask him to fight your battle, Jesus will fight your battle. He will give you victory. He will give you triumph. And so my dear friends, come to Jesus. Allow Him to fight your battles and to give you victory in your circumstances, in your situations. Accept Jesus as your King on this Palm Sunday. Shall we pray? Let us pray. Pray in your hearts. Cry out to Jesus. You know sin, Satan, are destroying your life. Only Jesus has the power of resurrection. Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will continue to live even if his body dies or her body dies will continue to live into eternity. Second death, that is hell has no power over them. Cry out to Jesus. Jesus be my triumphant king. Shout Hosanna. Help me O king. 
Save me, O King. Forgive me, O King, of all my sins. Cleanse me and wash me. And I give my life to you. If you pray this prayer and invite Jesus, the triumphant King, into your heart, into your life, into your soul, you will be victorious. The Lord will keep you victorious forever. He will fight your battles and He will give you victory always. Thank you, loving Father. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with your word this morning. We have heard your voice this morning. The devil tried to attack us through taking away our electricity, but Lord, you have given us victory. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless everyone, Lord. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we are going to sing. And with your branches in your home. No, no, it has to be like that. The screen has to be towards the door. It's okay, leave it like that. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart, yeah. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart, yeah. Lord, Give me praise until the break of day. 